we're all wondering how the Queen might be dealing with these days uh, in the run-up to the funeral. My next guest is someone who worked very closely with Prince Philip and the Queen for over a decade as Her Majesty's footman. Uh, Paul Burrell joins me now. A very good morning to you, Paul. And I suppose if there's anybody this morning who would have an inkling of uh, the kind of, in a way, how the Queen might be managing her days, mm -hmm. where she might be in, in, in Windsor Castle, how she might be feeling this morning, would be you, mm -hmm. because you saw her in a way that none of us have ever seen her. What do you think will be happening today and in the days to follow? Uh, yeah, my thoughts are with Her Majesty, of course. Um, she's lost the captain of her ship. Um, Prince Philip was the CEO of the, of the House of Windsor. He was the Queen's wingman. And in private, he was the boss. Um, he ran everything. She, he always considered the Queen first, of course. Um, she was his his raison d'etre, really. Um, at, at this moment in time, Her Majesty's probably sat at her breakfast table watching this. So um, uh, the nation's thoughts uh, and prayers are with her because this isn't about anybody else. It's about Her Majesty and her grief. And we should all come together and understand that, that she has lost someone very special in her life. There's a huge void there that cannot be filled by anybody. And, and, and I think we're witnessing something. I, I didn't realise how much it would affect me, actually yeah. losing Prince Philip. But I think it's because um, we're witnessing the end of a, an incredible era, this golden Elizabethan age, which our Queen has, has been the centre of. Most of us have only ever known a Queen. And she's been part of our lives forever. So we have to think about her at this time. And tell us a little bit about the quirks and the loveliness of their relationship uh, yeah. that you will have seen in your in your over a decade of being right there as they're getting yeah. ready for events, as you're getting, oh, yeah. you know, all, all the bits and bobs ready as before they would come out to the cameras where we would all see them. What were the lo what was the yeah. loveliness? What sort of what defines the the true love between the two of them is all the small moments, like in any relationship. Of course it is. It, I mean, Prince Philip was always attentive of the Queen. He was a gentleman with the Queen. And he, for instance, would mix her favourite martini uh, in, in her sitting room at night and take her a glass through while she was dressing. Uh, they spent a great deal of time together. They were, of course, Prince Philip introduced me to my wife, Maria. And um, the Queen and Prince Philip were delighted that a union downstairs of two households came together um, and he, they took us into, into their sitting room and Prince Philip and the Queen gave us a pair of candlesticks and a clock and he pointed out, well, he said, "There's um, my initials are on one and, um, and the Queen's are on the other. And if you look at the clock on one side, it's my cipher and, and on the other side, it's, it's hers. So he was, he was a very practical, no-nonsense man and sometimes very, very gruff. And at times, I have to tell you, Ranveer, yeah. he, he frightened the living daylights out of me because he was very aggressive sometimes and yeah. very vocal. And I've seen grown men come out of his room in tears because it, Prince Philip knew always the direction. He knew what he wanted to do and what he wanted to achieve. I mean, he pulled half of Sandringham House down uh, to, to reinvent the kitchen's to be nearer to the dining room because he suddenly realised that all their food was cold by the time he got to the table <laughs> because the kitchen was so far away. So he was a very practical man <laughs> and he didn't suffer fools. No. And he didn't like the fuss. He didn't like all the pomp and pageantry around the Queen. He put up with it because that's what but she did. he was did. her gatekeeper and as he... well, wasn't he? And I, I think that's what you say. And that he, did he make her laugh? I mean, that's what we all yeah. wonder, don't we? Because he was funny in his own ways and he's sometimes a bit offensive, but you know, he had a, he, did he make her giggle, you know? Yes. Yes, but she always remained calm. He was the one that was off like a volcano. And I, I remember once sitting, uh, standing in the Queen's sitting room and the, the, the bedroom door was trying to open into the sitting room, the joining door, and the corgis were fast asleep, like doorstops, and he couldn't get through, and he was cursing and, and shouting behind the door, and he, said, he came through and he said, I don't know why you have so many expletive dogs. <laughs> and she looked at him calmly and said, but darling, they're so collectible. They're so collectible. So it was this yin and yang. <laughs> Prince Aww. Philip was was the expressive one and the Queen was always the calm one. And then you, and you say that and then you think, gosh, her life must feel very, very quiet today. She must feel very an quiet and alone. Even though there's uh, hustle and bustle around, there's a big... Everybody will be watching. Actually, in these moments, you are alone in grief, aren't you? 
yes. And, it, and you know, her bedroom adjoins his dressing room and she'll be looking at that door and thinking, he's not going to walk through it anymore. And I'll never hear his voice anymore. I'll never, I'll never share things with him like I used to. She deferred everything to yeah. him. And the thing and, is, when you're you know, doing such oh, a lonely job, Paul, there is only one yes. other person in the world who might know what that's like. You have no one else to talk to when you do that job. No, no. and at Balmoral, I'd say to her, Your Majesty, um, I hear you're taking pic a picnic lunch out or a barbecue. Where are you going? She said, I haven't got a clue. I haven't got an idea. You better ask Prince Philip. He'll know. So everything within the House of Windsor was run by Prince Philip, and she let him do that. That was his job. And his job was also to be the warm-up man and to be the funny side of their double act. And wherever she went, she remained calm and smooth and she was a monarch. And she let him get away with murder, really, because he was the one that, that jollied things up and made people laugh. And oh, I know some of the comments were sometimes inappropriate, but that was Prince Philip yeah. and you couldn't change his character. He was, he was that person. He was always that person. Yeah, and we're seeing you in your various roles over the years here in these incredible, I, in this incredible rhythm. footage. Can, just as a final moment, into the final few yes. seconds of our conversation, how do you think in the coming year and so on, the Queen's demeanour will change, do you think? Will she be quieter, so, yeah. more, you know? Mm, she's 95 on the 21st yeah. of April. And, uh, you know, she, she, she's slowing down. She's gradually handing over the responsibility to Prince Charles. And this is a huge moment when Prince Charles has to step up to the plate and he will um, become close to the Queen and closer to the crown yeah. and the throne. And God forbid that day, I don't know how I'll cope with that day when Her Majesty goes because she's always been there and uh, I can't even contemplate that. No. So the, well, Prince, the Prince of Wales will continue to support Her Majesty and and okay. help her in any way he can, Paul, as will all the royal family. Yeah, it's been absolutely wonderful to hear all your insider thoughts this morning. Thank you so much uh, for Bless joining you. us this morning. A real, a real pleasure, actually, to hear those lovely moments. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.